When your pet has a medical emergency, you need Animal Emergency Care, staffed by caring professionals to serve your pet in a state-of-the-art veterinary hospital. Open nights, weekends, and every major holiday. Animal Emergency Care, in Bellingham and online at animalemergencycare.net. Today's story problem, if a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, how many are two in a cage worth? I don't know. We'll have to go to the expert. Laura Clark from Whatcom Humane Society. Priceless. Priceless. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Priceless. We have two birdies for you. They're parakeets. Is that the same thing as a budgie? Uh, sure. Yes. Okay. And they're peanut and butter. Peanut and butter. And oh. uh, I love the fact that we knew this was going to be a riveting video for the cafe website. Mm-hmm. And so the birds are helping by turning their back right. to the camera. <laughs> and if I try and turn the cage. Oh. oh, there we go. If I try and turn the cage. They're just going to continue to turn their backs. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah, they're like, no, we're not going to. Cr- yeah, yeah. Love the disco ball. The disco ball rocks it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, birds? <laughs> so, peanut and butter are a couple male parakeets. Um, I think, I'm not sure of the age. It's really hard to know what the age is. But based on their beak and their nails, which are a little bit long and do need some work, I'd say they're definitely mature adults. They were surrendered together. Um, We have so many parakeets right now. So if you're looking for parakeets, please visit us. They're tame, but not super social. So uh, if you put your hand in with them, they're not afraid of it, but they don't hop on your finger. Um, We have a variety of birds right now. Some are super hand tame. Some are not social at all. But they're not going to bite your finger off either. Well, as long as you move slowly. That's the thing. If you stick your hand in there and try and grab them, they're going to protect themselves. Because life is scary when you weigh nothing four ounces yeah. i don't yeah. know so so when you're looking at this cage this is just a little travel cage for them so this is not appropriate housing for a bird so okay. when you're looking at at bird housing you want to get a very very roomy cage with several perch areas so they can get up and get down toys i mean the disco ball rocks it but they mm-hmm. definitely would need other things mirrors they need um some perches you can get actually have almost a sandpaper type material on them, and that helps keep their nails trimmed because their nails grow. And you can see right now their nails are a little bit long. The other thing is their beak. Their beaks need to have work. So Whoa. you can get. Is that get a cuddle a, stone yep, that you use exactly. for that? Exactly. Yeah. And you put it in their cage, and they actually can kind of chew on it. It's the equivalent of a, a bone you would get for your dog. Yeah. It's, it's for birds, and that'll help with their beaks. High quality diet. You could even supplement that with some fruit and veggies periodically. Um, you know, Bill, who subbed last mm-hmm. week, Bill was telling me when he had birds, he actually had sort of a sun porch at his house, and he would open the the cage for his birds in the morning. The birds would have free ru- free run of that room, and then at night they would put themselves to bed, which is a really great thing yeah. to think about because imagine having wings. And yeah. not being able to use them. I don't right. like it. No, it would stink. Now, are their wings clipped or is there something preventing them from flying? Their wings are clipped a little bit, but they can still fly. And okay. I know that because when I was setting them up, when they came into the shelter, they got loose in the room oh. they were in. And I got to chase them around for a bit. <laughs> and they had a blast. <laughs> so that's why I'm not opening this cage because I didn't think we'd want them flying around this yeah. room. I don't. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> so... But they are just uh, two of many little parakeets we have looking for great new homes. So if you're a bird person and you can give these two little brothers um, the home they deserve, come on down and visit them. All right. They are peanut and butter. Mm -hmm. Although we decided they look like highlighter pens. They totally look like highlighter pens. It's the exact color of like a green and yellow highlighter. Yeah. All right. And they are available for adoption now at the Watkins Humane Society. Laura Clark, thank you so much. Have a great week.